Welcome back to the tutorial series for Fargo Rate's League Management System. I'm Steve Ernst with Fargo Rate, and through this video, I will guide you as we look at editing division schedules within LMS. In this video, you're going to learn how to regenerate schedules if you have, say, team changes in your division, how to create new matches, and do things, more advanced things like insert no play dates into your schedule. So after this video, you'll be able to edit and customize your division schedule to handle any circumstance that, that can present itself. So all right, let's get going. So if you joined us for our previous two videos, those were creating a division and then modifying a division, um, such as adding teams and players to rosters, things like that, you'll recognize our screen right now. This is the state of our division after we've made those changes. Um, for example, we added a few new teams. And by doing that, we now need to regenerate a schedule for this division because the current schedule we have doesn't have any of our new teams in it. So any changes that we're going to make to the schedule, we use the schedule button in the upper right hand corner. And from there, we can see our current schedule for this division. By default, we come into a calendar view and we can see the dates that we have matches on. And I can click on one of those dates and I can see the, the exact matches. So in this particular case, on the 28th, there are three matches. I can click on these and see Team E is playing D and C is playing the latecomers and so on. I can modify these. I can choose flip, for example, and it will flip the home and away teams. I can choose edit, and I can actually change the, the teams that are playing this match or move this one particular match to a different date. Or I could delete it completely if we just decided we weren't gonna play this match for some reason. So if you followed along through the previous two tutorial videos, we now have a division where we've added teams that aren't in the schedule. And we're in the fortunate case right now where we haven't actually recorded any matches. Nothing's been played yet. So to build a new schedule for this, I can clear the existing schedule. So if I choose yes here, it will remove all of the matches. Now I'm just going to generate a new one. I'm gonna choose our starting date. Again, we're going to start on the 28th, and I want all of the teams to play each other three times, so we're going to do three round robins. I could specify the number of weeks if I cared to. I will hit OK, and it's going to generate a schedule, and we get the statistics for the schedule. And in this particular case, I can look and see, for example, Team B has three buys, they play team C three times, team, team D three times, and so on. I can see they play 10 home games and 11 away games, and the maximum number of away games they have in a row is one. And I can see that that holds for all the teams. Everybody's playing each other the proper number of times. I can go to the violations tab and see that this is a legitimate schedule. There aren't any overbooked tables at locations or anything like that. So I'm going to say go ahead and use it. Now I can click on these and I can see, okay, now we have all four matches. We have eight teams, so there should be four matches. So we just cleared out this the old schedule, the old bad one, and created a new one for, for our teams that we've had or that we added. Just like in the Division Builder, I can export a schedule, I can import the schedule, and I can do um, some other things as well. Let's say that um, there's a snowstorm on the 4th and we can't play that day. So we just want to take all of the matches and move them ahead in time a week. So we do that by inserting a no play date. So I can choose that and say we are not going to be able to play January 4th, I want to insert one week, and I can choose what do I want to do with those matches on the 4th. Do I want to delete them or move them ahead? So we're going to move them ahead. I do not want to delete them. So we're going to hit OK. Yes, it's OK to do that. 
And now we can see that there aren't any matches on the 4th. And if I were to go to January, I can see there's none on the 4th. And all of the matches just got pushed out a week. I didn't have to rebuild the schedule or anything. I just said, I need an extra date to my schedule here. I can also create a match from scratch. So something that wasn't already in the schedule. This is useful in a case where maybe you have a position round where you want team one or the, the, the number one team to play the number two team and number three to play the fourth team in the standings and so on. You don't know until you get to the point that you're going to do that. So let's say on the 25th of January, we actually want to do that. So I'm going to insert a no play date on the 25th just so we can push our matches out. We're going to do one week, and again, we don't want to delete anything. And now I can actually just create some matches to put in on the 25th. And we do that through the plus button. We're going to create a match. And let's say that Team E was the first place team, and or second place team, however you want to do it, and is playing Team B. And we're going to have them play, oops, going too far here, on the 25th. Of January hit OK and now we'll see if I click on that there's that match that we just created so I could go through and I could create all the matchups that I want for that particular position round if you will we've created our schedule we can also go to the grid view up here and we can look at it like this as well it's sometimes a little bit easier to look at but everything that we're looking at right now is just for you the operator um, to adjust the schedule but players are going to want to be able to see that as well. And players can get to it by this public reports button up in the upper right hand corner. Everything that we've looked at so far in every video that we've done, only an operator can see. This public reports screen is unique to your division and anybody can see or any player can see this view. So this URL that's listed up here, you could actually take, put in an email, put it on your web page as a link, whatever you would like, and players can go directly to this and they can see the team standings and the player standings and so on. But over on the right-hand side is the schedule. So I can see um, for each date in the schedule who's playing and where they're playing at. And something we'll, that we will look at in the next video when we do score entry or match entry is when these matches have already been played, this is also where players will go to look at the details of a match, to look at the actual scorecard. Okay, well that's it for editing divisions. Um, stay tuned for the next video where we will get into score entry. Okay, thank you.